Hi there, my name is Star. I am a mother, artist, and community worker in the Mount Dennis area. And I'll be sharing some of my content around creating art using things around the house. So like many of us, I didn't have clay around my home to work with. So I found a really great tutorial online on how to create air dry clay. Uh, so for this, you're going to need cornstarch, white glue, vinegar, oil, white acrylic paint, and any hand lotion to prevent sticking. Now, if you don't have all of these ingredients, you can still find other homemade clay tutorials on YouTube that mainly consist of flour, water, and salt. So once my clay was ready, I used both acrylic paint and other things around the house to add color. Here I have added turmeric to make a really nice vibrant yellow. This one I used jello to make a really nice pastel blue. And this one I mixed turmeric and blue acrylic paint to make this bright green. In this one I mixed a very small amount of yellow to create a color similar to mushroom stems. So to make the mushroom stems, you'll need aluminum foil to create a support for your clay. Once you have done this, you just wrap your clay around it until it's fully covered and smooth. For the mushroom crop, you will need a thick marker. You wanna create a circle and flatten it out a bit in your hand and then place it over the marker and mold it gently. This red mushroom, which I'm sure you have seen before, is actually called a Amanita mushroom and it's actually very poisonous, fun fact. This one I dried and then painted red, dried again and then painted white dots. It's a very simple application. This mushroom I painted a galaxy and for this you will need turquoise, blue, dark purple, pink, white, and black. You will also need a paintbrush, sponge, and toothbrush. So for the first application I painted the mushroom black and I let it dry for a few minutes. It doesn't take very long. Then with my paintbrush I applied the blue paint. Once that dried a little bit, I used the sponge and began to apply the rest of the colors. At the end, I made sure to apply a bit of black. And lastly, I splattered white to make it look like stars. The smaller mushrooms I didn't use foil for, and you can see how the texture um, wasn't really able to support the weight of the mushroom cap, but they're still cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will be posting more to come, and you can check out my YouTube page for other creative tutorials. And a big shout out to Urban Arts for inviting me to share creative content with you during this time.